Welcome! So, let's discuss some Arrow top moments and some very, very cool Easter eggs. So, this episode was really, really good. I'm not usually, like, the biggest fan of Arrow. I watch it because I enjoy it, but I do prefer Flash because it's more light-hearted and less kind of brooding. But anyway, Damien Dark is back and he is pissed and he has decided to kill absolutely everyone. The actor who plays him is just awesome. and I, I find him infinitely watchable, so I hope they don't kill him off 100%, because I'd like to see him come back just like Malcolm Merlin. So we get to check in with Diggle's wife, who's on a mobile armoured transport thing, which was pretty neat. And I think it was a bit of a rookie mistake that he went back there after facing off against his brother. Next, we've got a really, really cool reference to the question in Hub City. And we also get John Constantine referenced again, who I absolutely loved in Arrow, but I haven't actually seen his other sadly cancelled TV show, which I might actually pick up. But anyway, Hub City, A. Eh? Hub City is actually under the protectorate of Victor Sage, aka The Question. So this could be setting up the arc for season five, but they have also mentioned other locations on the show, but I think this is too much of a coincidence. My next top moment is when Taya wakes up in the Truman Show set and it was a nice little bit of kind of building tension, finding out where he is, but he was downstairs making breakfast. But I found this whole bit a bit hammy because the dude who plays her boyfriend is just, just a bit a bit iffy. We've got our own version of Casino Royale here when they go and try and meet John Constantine, but they meet a random woman who isn't actually in the comics, sadly. It would have been cool if they had a kind of Zatanna role, but I think she is kind of off limits, unfortunately. But that would have been really, really neat, a nice little reference to the comics. But I did enjoy this scene, and we see Arrow in his very small training montage. So the Diggle and his sibling storyline has come to a shocking end, with Diggle finally dropping him mate he, he threatened your family just just drop him and he has finally so i think that's the end of that could he come back as a weird zombie thing possibly people always come back in comics so oliver now has learned to somehow summon the magic force well if barry allen can get a, a force i'm going to give bloody oliver queen a force the magic force there we go but yeah this was a cool scene and it's setting up really for the last part of the series. And we will see just what is going to happen in this epic showdown. So the team have finally worked out what exactly Damien Dark and, well, the rest of Hive are up to now. They are going to absolutely destroy everything and set up lifeboats, Truman Show style. So the next episode is called Monument Point, which is a very cool story in the DC Comics universe where a city is destroyed so this is a very interesting thing considering next episode is called monument point as well so yeah hope you enjoyed the episode i'll be back with more and goodbye